Hey there, what is up you guys? I heard that it is absolutely impossible to get zero FPS drop with any recording software. People people say all over the web or from what I've been seeing that is at, that is absolutely impossible to get zero FPS drop. Well, I wanna show you that it is not impossible because right now I'm getting zero FPS drop. I'll show you right now. You see right here? Look right here. When I re-record a game in the sense I'm about to show you, um, it should have a zero FPS drop. Now, if you do have a little FPS drop, it might be because, you know, because of the settings. Now, if you're curious um, how well this works on um, most games, or on some games, and uh, I'll show you. Or I can help you out with it. Um, if you have a problem recording or have a problem lagging with some games, I'd be glad to help you. Um, the games I've tested so far are um, uh, Batman Arkham Origins, which is really, really, like a really powerful game. Like it has really good graphics and everything. Um, I tested it with um, uh, The Forest. He recorded just fine. Tested it with, um, uh, let me check, where is it? Uh, unturned, and that worked out just fine too, zero FPS drop. And, uh, I also tested it with one more game, if I can find it. I might have deleted it, let me check. Uh, yes, I have deleted it. I know that for sure now. Um, I tested it with uh, Witcher 2 and I got zero on a PS drop. But yeah, those are all insanely powerful games. And oh my goodness, tell me my monitor's not doing this weird thing again. There we go. <laughs> okay, so I want to show you how to get a zero on a PS drop. As you can see, whenever I do this, you can see all that. Your monitor capture it usually lags and say high encoding and you gotta change your settings. It gets really frustrating and annoying. Well, I don't have monitor capture as you can see. I'm just using games. We were wondering like, what the fuck? How's he doing that? Well, they updated it and now they put a monitor capture feature in there. And when you want to do monitor capture, you have to enable alpha blending and enable anti cheat capability right here. Um, but when you do that, it will allow monitor capture. Now look what happens when I disable this one. Oh, I guess nothing. I think it was the wrong one I disabled. But I usually disable that one, or enable that one for Daisy. Um, I'll show you what happens when I disable this one. And there you go. What the heck? What the heck? Usually doesn't record the screen, it just goes to black. Wait, I got an idea how about we take this over here. And then we go to properties. And then I gotta show ya. There you go. Not what well, uh, this is frustrating. Yes, he never did this on the when I was streaming. Oh well, I guess I don't need that. Um I'll just put this back over here. Uh, anyway, let's go to settings. You can, or you can copy my settings. Because I have a really low-end computer and me settings, um, <coughs> I highly recommend. Because you get a zero FPS drop right there. Um, you can just copy this. Quality balance is 10. Max bit rate 8000. Um, codec ACC, I do not do MP3. Format 48 uh, hertz. Uh, bit rate 160. It doesn't need to be higher, it doesn't need to be lower, just leave that alone. Uh, channel, I keep it on stereo because that gives it better audio. Broadcast settings, you can put it on file uh, output only. Replay buffer link, I keep mine at 10 seconds. Uh, you, you don't have to put that uh, up or down or anything, I just my 10 seconds um video 
I know you don't have to mess with this other stuff unless if you didn't have any of this set up and just if you don't have any of this set up and just set it up it's not that hard. Uh for the video uh put it to your graphics card mine is an AMD rating R nine hundred R nine R nine two hundred series, not R nine hundred series. Um my basic uh, not basic base resolution is like twenty by ten eighty P. You can up that up to 4K, but I think you need a uh, higher resolution, or not higher resolution, um, a hi more powerful uh, computer for that. Um, yeah, I don't really need to mess with this. Uh, downscale, put my uh, 720p, just in case, and just click apply. I put my quality at the best, and click apply, and uh, made my... Um, FPS uh, 60 because uh, YouTube now allows 60 FPS, which I'm so hyped up about. I don't know if it allows any higher, but it does. And tell me down in the comments below. You don't have to disable that because you don't get, ever got to worry about that. Audio just, you know, set it to whatever your sound is coming out from and wherever your mic is. Whatever your mic is. So, yeah. And, um,. Yep. You can copy these if you want. Uh, go to hockeys, you can sell your hockeys or whatever. Uh, advanced. Um, enable multi core threaded optimization. Um, with uh, quad core processors or above, I recommend you check this. Uh, dual core or lower. Um, I don't know. You have to check into that. But uh, with the quad core processors and above, I recommend you check that because it helps you out a lot recording. Um, I usually keep this above normal or on high, but I just keep it above normal. And um, okay, people keep coming online, yeah, whatever. Uh, you don't want to disable encoding while previewing, or if you want to, you can, but I usually don't because it tells me. Um, it tells me or shows me what's happening and what it looks like during the recording and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, you want to set this uh, to ultra fast set this to main you can change this to uh, slower um, I think that means better video quality but it uh, takes up a lot more processing processor just put it ultra fast it gives you perfect quality it doesn't really matter I really don't know. I haven't tested it with slower. Well, I have, but it just kept freezing. So I tried it in medium. It kept on the same thing. I was like, oh, what the heck? Might as well put it ultra fast. And look, it just works perfectly fine. You know, perfect quality, perfect everything. Um, yeah. You can check mark CFR. Um, you can check mark this if you have any custom encoder settings. Right here, you can check mark these if you want. Uh, it's up to you, whatever you want to check mark right here. Wait, wait, no, not this, you want to check mark that. It's up to you whether you want to check mark this. Um, you can mess with this if you want. I do not want to mess with this because I have no idea what it does. So, yeah, if you have a quick sync, um, quick sync, quick, oh my goodness, if you have a quick sync with your um, Intel. Uh, I suggest you use this because it records a whole lot better if you have a quick sync. Um, if you don't, then I'm sorry. I don't, of course, but yet I get zero FPS drop, so I'm showing you how to use zero FPS drop without quick sync and um, all that other crap. Uh, microphone, noise gate, you can mess with this if you want. I do not mess with it, I just keep it in default. Scene switcher, this is new. If they don't know what this is, but this is new. Um, if you know what this is, we put it down in the comments uh, down below. That would be really helpful. And I have no idea what this does because I'm scared to find out what it does. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. You click OK, and then um, but after that, you want. Um, We'll go down here you can click add they have window window capture i don't use that 
I do not use this. I use this um, when I'm streaming. But you can add a logo uh, to your stream if you want, like I did. That's why I have this right here. It's called logo. I'll show you what I did. Uh, I went to my um, uh, downloads because I made this logo off on online. And I have two logos. One's a 4K. One is this one. Uh, I'll show you the 4K one real quick. I do not want to take this off because it was hard to get back up. Or not get it back up. Get it up there. Like that. Um, and you can have logos that move like that. Uh, so I'm going to show you how you can do this. If you want to click image, you can type in logo or just keep it an image. I'll just name it logo 2. You click on browse. Um, go to whatever logo you have. And you can click and you click open. It's not that hard. You don't want to mess with it. You just click OK. And as you can see, this one's in 4K. So we want to click edit scene. Um, we want to make this shrink. So in order to make it shrink, you do this. And that's a 4K, just so you know. It's a 4K logo. And um, yeah, you can make it bigger, smaller, or whatever. Uh, you can take the black out of it. Uh, just show you right here, real quick. Um, take the black out of it. Click OK. Oops. Oopsies. Change back. Change that back to white. And click OK. Okay. Let's take the black out of it. Click OK. Let's see. Let's see what this does. There you go. You can take a black out of it. It looks all cool. So you can see like right through it and everything else. Yeah. It looks cool, doesn't it? It took me a while to make this logo. Because it didn't have what I wanted. So I was like, yeah, what the heck. Yep. That's my other logo. Might as well just keep it there now. And let's just adjust the size. There you go. Uh, we want to turn that off and just get that logo there. We want to click that. You can move these by doing this. Move up or down. You can control up or down. Just you can do whatever you want with that. Um, um, plugins. You do not want to mess with this unless if you know what you're doing. But these are my plugins. I don't know if your plugins are the same. But yeah. Uh, global sources. You can add a global source or imports or whatever. I did not mess with that, but if you know what that is, you can bother it. Um, now you see my monitor right here. Um, now <coughs> I want to show you real quick how well this runs. I'm going to launch uh, Batman Arkham Origins and show you since I already tested with this I'm going to run this up uh, properties so uh, don't mind the black screen it's just a game starting up I just had to change it to the game real quick before I start it and there we go and don't mind the lagginess of the sound at the beginning it always does this, I don't know why. And I don't believe you got zero FPS. Zero FPS drop. show you at the end of the video uh, that to show you proof that I got zero PS drop and this is a problem I always get when I'm recording it's just well I didn't do anything I just go out and click it which is a problem for me so yeah 
so we want to launch this on an audio with a loud. Right. We want to go to options, uh, benchmark. And this will show you how well it runs. Zero frame drops. No zero drop frames. This is a hardcore one because of the water. And the flames and all that, all that detail. And yes, those zero drop frames. That's good. Your benchmarking is complete. Yep. Well, that just proves, or I still have to prove it. That just proves how well this can run. I want to switch this back to the desktop real quick. Give me a sec. Uh, properties. Mala Capture. There we go. Alright. I'm going to show you guys zero FPS drop. Right there, has proof right there. Yeah. And yeah, thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.